and today with the Anker 757 which is a solar battery with 1.2 kilowatt hours of power. For those that follow the channel regarding solar PV, solar panels that we have been installing over the years, you know that 1.2 kilowatt hour is actually a lot. There are houses that do not spend that per day. So one thing that is getting me curious is can I use this as a UPS for the whole home? And we are going to do this project right over here. So if you still haven't subscribed to the channel, don't forget to subscribe right over there so that you don't miss that video. Now, today we are going to take a look at the Anker 757 and also this solar panel right over here. Before we do, if you are watching this video on your Windows computer and if you still haven't activated it, don't forget to check out KeysFan, a platform that we have been using for the past few months where we can get official OM keys at an affordable price. And if you use the coupon code that you can see on screen and also down below on the video description, you will get an extra discount. The Anker 757 can be charged in several ways, one of which is through solar panels. I've got here the solar panels from Anker, which we will talk about in just a few moments. This is the 100 model, but they also have a 200 model. Very easy to use, very easy to connect. But if you already have solar panels like I do, and if you want to connect one of those, you will be able to. The maximum is 300 watts of capacity to plug into this battery. We can also charge it via AC with a cable to our AC outlet and charging via AC and it's putting in 1000 watts which is awesome. It will charge from 0 to 100% in about one hour and a half and the great thing is that although it's using my AC I do have solar panels on my house so that means that at this moment I'm producing 4.1 kilowatts hour and I'm spending now at this moment I'm not spending I'm injecting on the grid 100 watts 70 something so if this is something that you enjoy search this channel for solar and you'll have a lot of info but the great is that we have a solar battery which we did charge outside a little bit with the original panels that we can take everywhere right now charging with the panels from my house which is also awesome so that we can charge when it's free and then we can use the battery when the rate is more expensive during the night for example and it has fast charging which is called hyper flash and it will charge 80 percent in just one hour or the full 100 percent in one hour and a half and we can also charge on our car using a cable lighter to XT60, which is included right over here. And we are driving, probably regenerating energy. And with that energy, we are charging the battery, which is also really cool. Now, regarding the battery itself, it is well designed as these handles right over here, which probably are meant to be handled by Two. We can carry it by ourselves. It weighs 20 kilos. It's not that much and it has a nice scrap so it's easy to carry it. It has life PO4 cells and it's well constructed on the outside and also on the inside. On the outside we have these really nice plastics right over here. The grills, the fans inside so that it can cool down the unit and on the inside we don't see it right over here but it also has an aluminium structure so really strong no degradation it has a five-year warranty with a 10-year lifespan and for those of you that think that 10 years and then it dies no what happens is that it will take 10 years with the full 100% capacity but with over time it will start to degrade like our mobile phone our tablet our computers all the batteries will suffer the same so after 10 years 11 years what will happen is that we can still use it but we will not reach the 100% probably only 90% or 85%
up to 1000 watts it makes no noise whatsoever just a small breeze at this moment it is 950 watts more or less and we hear the fans but really really low if we go really high to 1500 then it's a different stuff <laughs> Anything that consumes up to 1500 we will be just fine. As we could see, I could make coffee with a 1400 watts, the microwave making some popcorns at 1360 watts, and a toaster with 950 watts. So, this is the kind of battery that we can take to our camping travels and we will not miss anything that we have at home. On the front of the unit we have this big display right over here which in my opinion looks really cool. It has the percentage of charging, the power that it's coming out or coming in, the duration that we still have available to use the battery and the active output. A LED with three different levels of intensity, a power saving button which will make the unit to turn off if there's nothing connected to it, a car lighter connection with the output of 120 watts, one USB type C with 100 watts, USB type C 600 watts and four USB type A with 12 watts along with two AC outlets of 1500 watts maximum. At the back we have the in Inputs, one of which is the AC input that we can connect to our home outlet and uh, have the fast charging and the other one is the XT60 which basically will allow me to connect the solar panels and besides the solar panels I can also connect to my car and charge it with a maximum input of 300 watts. Inside the package we also find the user guide, a AC cable, a XT60 cable through the car lighter and a XT60 to three times XT60 and this will be great if we want to use three of these panels which have a maximum of 100 watts so we can plug in up to three and we will have the three right over here. Now of course if we want to use two we will have two and if we want to use just one we can use the one that comes with the solar panel. We have seen a lot of solar panels right over here on the channel but these so far are the most original solar panels. First of all they look like those bed chairs to take to the beach. It's really really cool. It folds or unfolds in four parts with one central support which we can use to adjust the inclination and it also has two supports on the side. So these three supports will help us to get the best inclination possible. Regarding the direction it says we just need to direct it to where the sun is and with the help of the suncast technology which by the way is the thing that I did love the most on the solar panels besides being well constructed well designed really original with a great power input we could get 95 96 watts per hour on a panel that has a maximum capacity output of 100 watts so basic so basic that I did love it it's basically a square that we have right on the panel and it will show us exactly where we should place the panel regarding the sun. The goal is to put that shadow on the middle. So it's so basic, so basic that it makes this one of the smartest panels that we have seen. Actually the smartest panel that we have seen in everything in terms of technology but on this one right over here it just gives us a lesson that sometimes we complicate things when the solution is really really simple. Now on the back of the panel it also has a pocket which comes with the XT60 cable and it has about two to three meters and also a XT60 to DC 
cable. Besides that, we will also find at the back a connector female USB type A, which will allow us to connect two devices at the same time. And even if we don't have the battery connected, the solar panel will charge the device directly. How can I use this battery? Obviously, when I go out of my home and I want to take energy with me and I don't want to sacrifice my comfort. So if I want to have a hot coffee, if I want to have a hot dish and I want to use the microwave and any other uh, device that we know that it will spend up to 1500 watts, this is the ideal. Also, if we have this battery for that purpose and Probably when I arrive home, I will storage on my garage or anywhere else and use it as a backup for emergency situations where there is a power outage and we can just pick the battery, power the area of the home that we want to use it. I did use an example where I have my TV, my Android TV box and so on and so forth. It was spending about 100 watts, so it just means that I could use this setup right over here for about 10 hours or 11 hours. The same if I want to power my fridge if there are a lot of hours with no power. So there are several scenarios that we can use it as a backup for emergency situations. Besides those scenarios, there is one that it's getting my attention and that is to use it as a UPS for the whole home. But we are going to do the test here on the office which spends the whole office roughly 700 watts per hour, which is a lot more than the regular house. Usually a household has a standby of 100-200 watts, which is just great. And then when we are cooking and things like that, then it will spend a lot more. Now on that project, we will have some cautions, which is we will not be able to connect all circuits because of the power limit of the 1500 watts. But it's a nice idea and a cool project that if you want to follow, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss that video, which to me is really interesting. And that is it for today. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really, really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George. Today with the Anchor 757. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.